Boom 97.3, I'm Mae Potts. It's Turntable Tuesday here at Boom, where throughout the day we intersperse some vinyl onto the airwaves. And joining us this afternoon, I'm so excited to meet you. Tom Cochran is in our studios. Great Thanks. to have you here. Thanks, Mae. It's great to be here. You know... You, uh, this is a good station. I've got some friends here that from the you know new ones. Well, you, you and are Wayne in the, are music Wayne and director. I go back yeah. a ways, yeah. That's great. So now you're here, and uh, we're talking about vinyl today. <clears throat> Do you still have your collection? No, my daughter. Oh, there you absconded go. Absconded with my collection. And then she, I mean, it, it's funny because she's a huge Aerosmith fan. Yeah. Monstrous. So she's met those guys four times. She's been lucky enough, lucky enough to meet them. But she'd come, come back to me. She got the collection when she was 12, and she would come back to me, you know. Months, months afterwards, and she said, "You know, Dad, you should really check out this, this, these two guys called Simon and Garfunkel." I said, "That's my record collection. <laughs> what are you talking about?" She said, and uh, but yeah, so she she got most of the vinyl. My my uh, eldest daughter got a few, two pieces, but but I hope they didn't get your stones because I gather this is one that means a lot to you. This song, the yeah, one that you kind of liked. I just think that uh, man, I, you know, I loved reading uh, Keith Richards. There were two books. I guess his official autobiography mm. but um i mean the stones are the stones you know and they were the beatles you know we were all in a band when i was in high school everybody was in a band you know the two bands we always played for like the beatles and the stones and uh, some yardbird stuff but those are kind of the bands you started out with mm-hmm. and then segued into dylan and some headier stuff but i mean i think gimme shelter the beauty of that song it's just it's one of the greatest rock songs of all time it just it just the hook is magical, but you know, I, I on the new record we have, you know, and I've used a lot of female uh, background singers in my work. But I mean, that's the real twenty feet from stardom thing. And, right. Uh, uh, she just she sings magnificently. But that just track. a shot away stands yeah, out more than away. anything else on that. Long it's lyric, just yeah. uh, it's so powerful. Yeah. But but even more than that, you know, it's it's really where Mick was kind of segueing into. I wouldn't call this stuff political, why well, you know, maybe, but it was it was it was pretty strong material in terms of lyrically. It was very powerful. And and you know, so kudos to them for Beautiful for, for being brave. Yeah, exactly. You well, know? great choice. Yeah. Tom great Cochran song. joining us for Turntable Tuesday. Gimme Shelter, Rolling Stones. Love One this of his guitar choices. stuff. Too. Yeah. You know, piece of genius. Boom 97.3, just a shot away. Yeah, that's Gimme Shelter from the Rolling Stones. Tom Cochran in the studio with Boom 97.3 for our Turntable Tuesday. Great to have you here with it's us. Good to be here, man. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, yeah. uh, this turntable thing. And I know that probably you had a lot of fun figuring out which songs you wanted to talk about. Because, you know, the, the one thing about the vinyl is that we do have very vivid memories of cracking that vinyl open yeah. and taking that album out the first time you put it on that turntable. And um, so I want to hear your your story for choosing Fleetwood Mac. Go well, I, I, okay, with, with Fleetwood Mac, I, the first tour I ever did, uh, I opened for Jose Feliciano. I don't know if you remember. Mm-hmm. Jose, but incredible guitar. Anyways, um, that was my first kind of concert tour that I did in, I think, 75, 76. And uh, we finished in Vancouver, and I got tickets through CPI, which later had become Live Nation. And... Um, for this, for Fleetwood Mac, and I had no idea the band had changed. Uh, so Peter Green was in the band, I believe. And, um, the band, uh, they had these two new artists in the band. So we went and saw the, the, their first show. This is the first show they ever played, and it was wow. at the, the Queenie, okay. Queen Elizabeth. And they were so nervous. Like Lindsay had his eyes shut the whole show, and he was knocking over mic stands and popping strings. And Stevie was really nervous as well. And and. It was noticeable, but Mick Fleetwood and John McVie and and uh, Christine, like they, they really held it down. But there was this incredibly intense intense energy that we look for in music, that we, we miss in music so much that they brought to it. It was just even though there were mistakes being made, you knew this. I was seeing something magic, right? Just magic with with this band. And the thing about those two, like I that I relate to, is that I came from the folk era, so. Uh, I started playing rock and roll music in, initially in high school and that, but then I kind of segued into coffee houses and playing folk music, which they did. That's where they came out of. Okay. And then they started this band, so I can I can relate to that the way they create hybrids of of folk with with the rock and roll, and and it's 
it's very noticeable when I listen to their stuff, and uh, I find them a magic, magical band. But again, this is this is an example of a, a guy that started as a folk guitar player that can play all these exotic acoustic instruments, and, and just how he can play great electric guitar, and just the intensity on this rock song. You can go your own way. It's just a, again one of the best rock songs of all time. It is, and yeah. and it actually was dealing with that yeah. change. Everybody yeah. going their own direction and moving yeah. on. Yeah, it's, and it's positive. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we almost had it queued up in the right spot, but it's coming yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, I was, was going to say, oh, wait a minute. This, this isn't it. <laughs> we just dropped the needle. That's the way we roll around here. But here it is. You isn't the right.